Are you serious? Look at this that's blocked down there. Oh, it's a nice clip. My lips are frozen, I can't even talk. It's nice, busy out here. Bula, 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 I'm out. So uh, Stanley's been working in Golden this last winter. He's been doing flagging for Brandon and, and helping out around the yard as well on some of the trucks. He's back, he's gonna join us today to do a little bit of a walk around and a, a talk about coastline days. Sammy lived in Surrey, you know, basically at the time when I worked at Coastline. And, um, you know, that's the special project truck we didn't talk about last video. It's one that we're trying to get done for the summers and uh, if, you know, if it allows, we might take it to a truck show if that happens. I mean, we don't know what's going on because of the COVID thing at this point, but uh, we're definitely not slowing down here. We're moving ahead, full steam ahead. You know, COVID isn't slowing us down one bit. This truck has been sitting in this shop for over eight years on, on my bucket list project list. And what this really is, is a home 750, just like what was on Bruce's truck. This is a, a fair lead for a big hook comes out of here. Mm -hmm. And on the front of this, there's a 60,000 pound DP winch. This underlift was added after. And what this is, is called a Century HHU. You know, it's basically not a really heavy duty underlift, but it'll tow highway tractors and... Oh yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it tilts down. Yeah. You know, probably wasn't the best lift, but in the day, you know, it, it actually was all we could get for these truck trucks. So Rob's doing, Rob. what are we doing on here like right now? Yeah, I'm we up. are cutting the slick sand down to make it straight. As you can see, I do have a couple imperfections. So you put a thing called slick sand on there, which is a thick primer, is that right? Yeah, it's like a sprayable Bondo kind of okay. stuff. And then you sprayed, and then, you know, I, I know some things about body work, but I don't know everything. So you can well, see- this, see this. He sprayed the black yeah. spray paint and they call that, what do you I call it? A yeah. guide coat. Yeah. And then he sands it all it down. You all your little imperfections, right? Whether it be low spots, yeah. um, scratches. Mm -hmm. what, what would you do with this? Would that be hammered in a bit? No, I'll just put a little putty on there and oh, let it work that out. Yeah. The cab of this truck is pretty much painted. Yeah. And the frame rails have been painted. The next project here then is to paint red on the boom, black body, and it's gonna have white sides. This this truck will look like the original picture. So you can have a look at that. Pretty much ready to go. Put the original old chrome lights in. Oh, no yeah. way. We have the original mud flaps. We always talk about my mud flap. Yeah, I know. Don't then, throw any mud flaps away. <laughs> yeah. We even have the original Holmes, Ernest Holmes oh, handles yeah, yeah. that go on there. Yeah, yeah, those. Oh, the ones like uh, Madimo has? Capped aluminum and handrails. And this truck is going to be a really nice truck. So this is kind of a special project because, you know, when I was a kid, he was one of my bosses and he influenced me and, and in different ways. You, you kind of go through apprenticeship training when you're young. You know, you work for somebody and, yep. and then you move on in life after that, you know. So Bill was a mentor. Yeah. to us. And yeah, he was a good guy. Oh, the whole electrical system, right from the starter to the alternator, mm -hmm. rewiring the crane, all the lights, you know, a lot of work's been done on this truck. It sat here so long, the fuel pump actually, you know, See? seized up. Yeah. So I had to put a new fuel pump, which cost $3,900. Yeah, so I know. We're on the way to the ending of this truck and um, really looking forward to running this out of the shop and maybe, maybe taking it to a show. Oh, it'd be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, they were a big company in the day and, yeah. and the biggest. Yeah. You know, so. But these guys were big, like big time. And nice to keep their name alive and, and yep. in respect to our old boss, you know. No, no, yeah, no. And a lot of the guys who worked there. I mean, yep. the people that worked at Coastline were dedicated people. They oh, were 24, they, were, they, worked, they worked hard, long yeah. hours. I remember that. I was only 1978, man. I had to call. Who you call? That, that Coastline. Yeah, yeah. H&R, from H&R. Yeah, and did that you, walking, did yeah. you uh, that's that when you got here from PG? Uh, no, I came in 75. 75? 75. And then 78, I stopped working. Mm. And that's when with the car lot. And we need to talk always. You called Coastline. this company Coastline. Coastline. That's the only one was wrong. So you got a bit of history with this company. Yeah, too. big time. That's cool. Yeah, and all those guys that work. Mm -hmm. All nice guys. Oh, awesome guys. Man. Yeah, and they're all still around today, a lot yeah. of them, yeah. Most of the guys, though, that I, I keep in touch with them regularly, mm -hmm. stop by their shop, you know, Bert, Ian, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rob, you know, yeah, a lot yeah. of those guys that yeah. were around, yeah. But it'd be really nice to see this back on the road. It'll bring oh, back a lot of memories. It, I, think, I think it's, it's going to be awesome. It's a really special truck to us, and it really belonged to an ex-boss of mine. So we've kept a few of the trucks and, and kept the company name and the original phone number and everything. Uh, 
we don't operate it or haven't operated it for quite a while, but um, the name still goes on and um, we have a few trucks that are built right now and we may, you know, fire the company up again at some point. Sammy remembers you were in Surrey that time. Yeah, in, in back in the days. Yeah, yeah. 70, 1978. 70, 80s, yeah. and, and even up into the yeah, 90s, yeah. they held the contract for Surrey. Oh, big time. For the police for yes. more than 25 yeah. years. Coastline? Yeah. All big. those guys, yeah. Bill Gibbs was the owner of the company, and he was very well respected in the industry. He had good equipment, mm -hmm. and uh, them guys, you know, all the old time guys that worked oh, there, the best. You know, they grew up with that company. They were young guys and, yeah, and yeah. you know, grew up and worked there for a long, long time, you know. so. Very, very loyal people that worked for Bill. Mm -hmm. and Bill looked after them. Yep. You know, and the equipment was really, really nice. So, a good friend of mine, Ian, gave me a book here, and, and it showed me some of the pictures of some of the original equipment. This, this picture here is that is is the special truck we have in the shop, five O. So five O back in the eighties was being built. I remember this truck driving by me on Fraser Highway and the, and the boom wasn't on it yet, only the back body in the truck. No way. Yeah, it was brand new at the time. Wow. And I had hair mm. down to my butt <laughs> at that time. Oh, well, like me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What I got. <laughs> yeah, here's one of their original trucks. This is a wow. old, looks like a 1972 Chevy yeah, yeah, at the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know what, those guys, they did a lot of work, man. Yeah. The, the only guys who were around. Well, and they were a good company. Like, yeah. You know, everybody wanted to work there. Mm. And uh, this here is Bill himself. Oh, so that's him there. Yeah, yeah. Picture of him. Right. Like that's that's he was like that kind of young guy, man. You know, he was a no nonsense kind of guy. Like, know. He, you know, no yeah, fooling yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. He really ran a good company. Name. Oh. This truck here, forty-seven, is still here today, but it's R forty-seven now. No way. Yeah. It's the that's same, the same one. Same truck. Yeah. Wow. So we just painted him red. Yeah. So when when I bought that truck. Huh. We modified it a little bit and changed it, but um, yeah, yeah. It, it was a beautiful truck, and that's the truck I used to drive when I worked there. Wow. Yeah.